Your desire is my command. Of course. Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? I do my best. <laughs> what can I say? Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Oh, I suppose the Chantry life is good enough for some. Here, we have the chance to fight against the Blight. To actually do some good instead of sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Your desire is my command. Of course. Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. Oh, you aren't kidding. I think the Templar uniforms are as colorful as they are, just so the Templars didn't feel dull in comparison. Last thing you want when you're about to take down some Maleficar out in the woods is to have him point and laugh at your taste in clothing, am I right? You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. I... I suppose there's no harm in it, then. Sorry if I was being perverse. I'm just not used to anyone asking me these things. The truth of the matter is that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. No, I never got that far. I mostly learned about discipline and training my mind to use the abilities that Templars have. It was difficult, but rewarding. I never really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic, so I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? Really? <laughs> I... I guess I like the sound of that. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good. Either way. I suppose you're right. We can create new Grey Wardens. But we'll never get back those we lost. I wonder if it would ever feel the same. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. <laughs>